hey my friends so today we're gonna talk about the hero's journey you know you might have heard this before from Russell Brunson and expert secrets book or dot-com secrets or maybe you've heard it elsewhere because it is being taught a lot and one of the things is that I'm I've been kind of going through a training uh, these these last few days talking about the hero's journey and the hero's journey is one of those things that is is it's a it's a it's something that can you can use to help sell your stuff online to help pro provide webinars to help in all sorts of different areas because you have to have a hero's journey before you can actually have the success same thing with me I've got to have a hero's journey so I'm going to talk about what's the hero's journey how you can use it and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my hero's journey so you can kind of get to know me a little bit and just after this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets hey, hey my so the web the the, the the hero's journey is something that I first heard about in Russell Brunson's books and he talks about uh, an example he gives an example of uh, of um what's his name cars and cars um that car and cars oh gee um well you know I'm forgetting maybe let me know if you know the name if you remember it go ahead and comment or let me know um but it was lightning McQueen there you go lightning McQueen had a journey he was on a journey to win the piston cup right I don't know if you've ever seen that movie but it's a ch the children's uh, animated movie it's a pretty good story for even adults right we I certainly enjoyed it and that's that movie he's off to go and win the piston cup he wants to win the piston cup but his on his journey he he changes and he learns things that he didn't know he didn't know and he becomes more and then at the end of the movie he's different and he's you know learned something else and he's he doesn't care as much about what he wanted originally and he he's just a better person right and that's kind of what the hero's journey is it's about being better it's about learning about growing about realizing certain things and you're probably on a hero's journey right now you just might not even realize it maybe you've gone through a few of the steps and you haven't really structured it but if you if you continue on your journey you're going to become you know a hero to other people to to your 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 fans hopefully right to your followers and that's kind of what we all hope to accomplish right but what is the hero's journey so I got a sheet right here I don't know if you can see but I got a sheet right here and I'm just gonna draw it right behind me I'm just gonna put this down a little bit and let's actually uh, zoom into that a little bit get that in there a little bit bigger whoops wrong wrong way let's just zoom into that a little bit so you can see it a little bit better so I'm gonna actually uh, take some uh, I got some crayons or markers here that I'm going to use hopefully these markers will work properly I probably should have I probably should have opened it before I started I actually just look at that I got these little colors I'm going to use these to add, show you the hero's journey so let's start off with the basically the hero's journey is is circular right so hero's journey is something that starts off let me see if that light helps if I turn that light off I'll change the light let's turn it off because it's not very easy for you to see that right maybe I'll close this curtain off a little bit move this over well I guess you'll probably be able to see a little bit more as I as I draw it but anyways that's just a circle so I mean we start here right so this is the start so this is today where you are right now yeah that's not very uh, visible hold on let me see if I can fix that a little bit over here let me just try to uh, improve things because I have, of course I want you to be able to see this and if I make this a little bit brighter where's my mouse oh, yeah, I lost my mouse right here so let's uh, see if I can't yeah that's probably the lighting here let's see if that helps if I turn that close off that whole curtain okay so you can kind of see right there that's the start of the journey the, the start of journey of course is where you are right now and uh, let's see if I can get in there a little so the start of the journey is where you are right now obviously right and the first thing that happens in your journey is that 
you get a call to adventure so number one right is you get a call to adventure you get a call to adventure so what is a call to adventure right call to adventure actually let's write in here heroes heroes journey this is the hero's journey right the hero's journey so what is the call to adventure the call to adventure is when you finally realize that you are meant for more right where is it that you're going for like for me the call to adventure has always been I remember when I was when I was a teenager I was doing some stock market estimators and 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 portfolios I was doing not that, that fit that um, you know like um, what's the word um uh, not fake but um anyways play portfolios all right I had created portfolios I was following the stock market in the financial post I was getting that financial post every single day and I was taking down the numbers putting them in my computer then doing these graphs and these things and figuring out the values of what and then I was after a week or two I was actually making you know fake purchases and and updating portfolio value and I was doing all this and I was trying to figure out how to get rich using the stock market right so I did all sorts of things and I learned also all sorts of things following that but I mean inside of me I always wanted to be wealthy and it's not about having money it's about being free that freedom to to do what you want when you want right where you with who you want right anytime not having a boss not having to, to worry about bills not having to you know not worry about money that's really what it is it's always been that for me so it's always been a journey for me to figure out how do I actually get there what is it that I you know need to do to get to that point right so I've always been working on things you know as I as I you know as I got older I started building websites I did a bunch of different websites I, I you know if if you ever wanted to see what I did in the past I don't even know if you can find it but probably in the way way back machine online you can probably find some of my old websites and that's the thing so I've always been on this journey to produce something and I've always I've learned that the only way to really become wealthy as an entrepreneur is to find something that you can that can duplicate your time right it's not about you selling your time like a doctor that kind of stuff it's always about duplicating your time and getting income from things that are systems that you put in place that you can set and forget and then income just starts to grow from that right I've always been working on that that's always my been my goal and I tried all sorts of different things and today um you know I hope that I found something that that I'm, that's what I've been working on for the last year or so and I hope I found something and that's my call to adventure I've always wanted to have that in my life the second thing the next thing that happens in your journey is you meet a mentor so you meet a mentor now a mentor a mentor of course is can be you know it doesn't have to be let's just move this a little bit here so a mentor doesn't have to be a person right it could be somebody that you spend time with if you're in a network marketing company for example you could actually have a mentor in your upline that helps you a lot that you you spend time with you go for suppers I mean I did that I was in network marketing companies I I, I like to, to 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 be part of the team I'd like to be part of the people that that you know and I I would go to meetings and I would go to lunches and I would go to weekend things and I would hang out with all my men all my leaders right that they that were that were getting results and I wanted the results they had that was what I was doing but after a couple of years of doing that and realizing it really wasn't for me I started looking online and I started looking for people online that were doing network marketing online that was my first first part of it you know I meant I met all these mentors that do that that do these online things right and I started to learn things about network marketing online get generating leads you know growing of your followers on Twitter on creating Facebook fan pages and all this stuff and then I met mentors that taught about generating income online so like Russell Brunson and um, more recently I, I don't even know their names but these guys from webinar jam are amazing um and you know Brian Finale from my lead system pro and Diane Hockman Ray Higdon all these people are amazing and I learned so much over the last two two three years 
but the thing is that I didn't really you know anyways we'll get into that in a second but yeah so you gotta have a mentor it can be a virtual mentor I could be your mentor you know if you find that I've I've got uh, skills that you need to learn that you can you can you know learn from me that's that's awesome of course let's let's connect you know I'd love to be to be able to help you get the results you're looking for but that's the thing so you meet a mentor that's your first step now one of the things is actually you know one of the things is that we have to realize is that in the middle here in the middle of the this this is normal this is the normal see this is being a normal person being in the normal world and this is this is you know not not normal unknown it's the unknown it's part of the world that you don't know anything about yet you're still learning you don't you don't know what's down here you don't know what's going on here up here you're comfortable it's your stuff you know these things you call to adventure you meet a mentor that's your stuff right you get there you get that you understand and then what happens is you cross a threshold so over here you're crossing a threshold now why do we say it's crossing a threshold it's because it's because you're moving into the unknown now you're you've got a mentor you've got somebody who can help you who can tell you things to do that you really don't know anything about and they're telling you to do certain things that you don't know but you make the decision to cross that threshold it's a it's a scary place to be it's a place where you're not sure whether you're going to succeed or not I mean for me when I started learning to do these things online I didn't really know whether but I thought I knew lots of stuff because you know I'm not I'm not a stupid person I know things I've learned things I've went to school I, I've you know I've, I've read books and whatever so I certainly thought I knew lots of the things we're going to talk about in a minute but the thing is I still didn't know I didn't know that I didn't know right and that's the things I've learned over the last couple of years that I know now but I didn't know that you know you you couldn't just start building a website and get people to come to it and that was it right I didn't know that you could just grow your Facebook page to 20,000 just by doing simple things that it wouldn't do anything because there's more that you got to do right but I knew how to I learned how to grow my Facebook fans and I spent you know two three hundred dollars on on ads and it was awesome I got two twenty three thousand likes but it didn't accomplish anything right but I didn't know that I was learning right and that's the thing so but I was crossing into that threshold after that what happens is this is exactly kind of what we're talking about here is after that you end up going into so you end up with trial and failure so you've got trials trials and failures right so you have trials and failures now these trials and failures they're the things that that test you right they test you as to whether you're gonna just quit right or keep going right because if you don't know that you're that you have to have trials and failures I'm telling you that right now you're not going to make it to the other end if you don't have trials and failures so just just keep that in mind that'll help you to make it through that because you're going to know that it's coming and the thing is that if you have trials and failures that just makes you stronger but if you don't know that they're there then you you're probably going to quit because it's it is hard it is hard I mean I I I, I lost seventeen thousand dollars trying to do some cryptocurrency stuff I mean it's, that's crazy I you know and when I look at some of the debts I have you know we all have debts right credit cards and our mortgage and whatever else when I look at some of those debts I think to myself well Jesus if I didn't lose that 17,000 I would be able to pay that much on my debts right and that's that sucks but it's a great it, it, it is a, a wonderful learning experience I I really look at things any failures as learning experiences right they some say you can't fail you can only learn right you can't fail you can only learn so that's that's what you're going to do with your failures you're going to learn and I learned <coughs> I learned to not <laughs> to not get Facebook likes the cheap way and also not to um what's the word I, I should, not to muddle your fans from one market to another market because that just causes all sorts of problems I learned those things I learned that growing your Twitter followers 
using automation has some benefits but you do have to do some other things if you really want to get leads and sales right I learned those things those are things that you're going to learn too as you go through you're going to make those you're going to make some of the similar mistakes I made of course if you know if you were to decide that you were following me and you're going through my my online stuff and you're learning things and you're listening to my podcast or my my episodes you might avoid some of the mistakes I made because I kind of talk about some of those right in those episodes but the thing is that you're still going to make your own mistakes and it's important for you to make your own mistakes because that's the best way that we learn now don't be afraid to move ahead through that all right so then the next thing that happens is that you <coughs> basically and this is where you grow right so then you end up with growth and new skills so this is where this is where you learn all sorts of different things you know it's in this area here where you're learning you're learning you're growing oh that's actually you know when you don't see it right it's just uh, there so it's growth and new skills right so you you have these I can probably move this up a little bit yeah so you get growth and new skills because you're learning new things right you are learning new things let's uh, zoom out a little bit here let's just move that down here just get us a little bit more into there there we go so you got move that up there okay so yeah so you learn all these new things like me for example I learned all sorts of tricks about uh, Facebook advertising about how to do Facebook ads to grow your your likes on your page even though there's Facebook likes I use Facebook engagement to grow likes I learned how to do ads right how to spend I spent probably like I said I I, I lost 17,000 well that's in bitcoins in a, in a bitcoin thing or in, in cryptocurrency stuff I lost that because I invested in something that didn't and that I eventually went bankrupt right but I also spent probably almost 20,000 on ads on Facebook ads now as a business owner the cool thing about that is that there's some tax deductions on this and all this other thing but it's still a lot of money to spend but the, and that's not over that's over the four or five year period right so it's not like you know 20,000 a year but even then I would love to be spending twenty thousand dollars in ads every year if it meant making fifty thousand dollars right which is where I'm heading towards now but the thing is that those are things I learned I didn't know that until I tried it until I learned it until I knew that I didn't know and I learned it I I followed some mentors I got some courses I got some trainings I got all sorts of different things to learn all these different things I I had I paid for a coach I paid four five thousand dollars for a coach that I learned some things but I also felt like that coach didn't really deliver on the training that was promised I didn't bother it, I'm not going to give any names or anything but I did have a coach that I paid that and I then I hired another coach three about three thousand dollars and that coach basically was amazing but I wasn't really ready for what it was trying to get me to do so I lost a little I lost money there in the sense that I invested but then I didn't follow through right and I also bought courses that I I didn't really take take seriously I, I bought masterminds that I took part of I mean I, I did all these things right? but I learned a lot from all that and same thing with building websites I'm building websites now I'm building a website now and I'm learning skills on that I don't know about building a website for that particular um, you know market right I mean the the website that that allows you to host your own courses the Click eCourse I mean that's a site that requires a whole bunch of functionality that I never really built before so I'm learning those skills too right so that's where you are well, that's where you end up in you're growing with new skills you're making mistakes you're you're doing things the wrong way but you're you're growing in your understanding of the right way because you know you that's just how humans learn right we learn by making mistakes and then after that what happens is we end up in well over, over there we're going basically in the middle we are then we are death death and rebirth okay so death and rebirth that that's where you know our old self kind of dies and a new self comes out right where we basically start to we start well that's there's other things that happen bef after that but 
basically we just we just seek to be the person we were before and we're born anew so in other words we're we're a blank slate now we're we're not all the things we learned before they're kind of not necessarily directly there it's kind of a, a new personality a new person that's coming out somebody who's has a different perspective on life a different view on life a different view on the on the on you know on the adventure that you're going through it, it's it's a new you right so death and rebirth after the death and the rebirth we have let's get this color out of here after that we have the very the next one which is let's uh, see it's the revelation the revelation so the revelation is all about you coming to terms with the fact that now you know certain things you didn't know before and you start to have these aha moments where you start to think oh wow so that's what I need to do right so for example for me I learned that you know there's no point in me doing these Facebook ads to grow my audience because that audience isn't really following my page they're not really looking at things it's it's really no no use because if you have a hundred thousand followers on your Facebook page and then you do ads the if you don't do any ads of course it maybe it does make a difference but it also it also has to be quality followers but if you're doing ads it doesn't matter how many followers you have you can have just five followers in the end it doesn't matter because your ads are going out to whoever you're targeting so there's these kinds of revelations you realize things and you know for me I realized that the I did some some things to grow my Facebook likes that were um, I guess okay at the time that I was doing it but then I changed my direction and I was still promoting I was pr promoting the new stuff to the old followers and they weren't interested in the new stuff so that they started marking my stuff as you know don't want to see or they started to unlike my page or or block me and that kind of stuff so that raised black uh, red red flags for Facebook and that's why my page got shut down those kinds of things happen so I realized those things so that's the revelation the revelation that your path you were on before wasn't exactly right and you got to go down this other path instead and that's why you learn these new skills and that's why you make these mistakes because you need to get on the right path so now after your revelation there is finally changes so that's kind of what I, I was just saying finally there's changes right finally you have changes so these changes are what comes from these revelations when you do when you re realize these things you just basically like for me it's like well there's no point really in doing Facebook likes ads or trying to grow my Facebook followers right because really they don't matter it's not about that it's about engagement and connection and and reaching out to people and all these things right these are things that I've you know I'm doing I'm doing now I'm changing some things I'm changing how I'm producing these videos how I'm how I'm doing these the the podcast you know all these things they're changing me I'm changing I'm doing things differently and this is part of it right and then uh the next thing is atonement the word here basically now is you have atonement which you know you basically are starting to feel relief because now you're going back into the normal world after learning all this after being being you know having trials and failures after having you know you're you died and you came back to life as a new person right now you're coming back into the real world with all this knowledge this is your hero's dream you're here and you're finally going to be able to help other people and and you know your gift will be available to others right and so that's when you get a gift you get a gift the gift of the gift of helping others the gift of you know teaching others the things that you've learned throughout the journey right that the gift of being able to accomplish things and have others get the results that you had without them necessarily having the same failures like, like I said no matter what you do you're going to have some failures you're going to learn things you're going to you're going to have make mistakes that's going to happen doesn't really matter right it's all about you going through your own hero's journey but you know once you get here you have a gift now you have a gift and your return thing 
and it can return change. So now you're changed. You're a changed person. You're you're not the same you were at the beginning. You know, if we think if we think back at at, at cars, right? The Lightning McQueen. He wanted to win the Piston Cup. That was his goal. That was his call to adventure, right? He wanted to win the Piston Cup, and so he met a mentor. You know, um, uh, I forget the name, but anyways, that that older car, right? That older race car. He met this this mentor, and that then he just he crossed into going on to his you know going through trials he had failures he 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 learned new skills and then he was dead in rebirth and that's when he finally changed and realized that he didn't need the piston cup it was just an empty cup you know and that's that's the journey that's the hero's journey a hero's journey is what you are going through that's what I've been through and I'd love to help you out and of course if you haven't already gotten this you should get your copy of the 12 critical steps to your online success you get that at online success 12 steps.com and you know here let me just put it over here let's just put it in here I'm just going to add a new um, <clears throat> let's just add it here so it will be um 12 steps url there we go I'm doing that on um, OBS over here so it so it's online success 12 steps.com there we go that's it here that's the URL let me just make it a little bit bigger whoops a little bit bigger here that's the URL you want to go to let me actually let's change that here to make it uh capacity there you go oh that's not what I want what I want is the background there we go there you go there so you go to online success 12 steps.com actually we're going to edit that again because I want this to be so it's http not https there we go whoops there there we go so you got to go there get your copy of this ebook the 12 steps to your online success go to online success 12 steps.com get that so it's 12 steps to 12 with the number one and two and this is your this is going to be your journey well let me just get the screen back up up here get that back right I just need to get my myself back in the picture here so yeah so the 12 steps to your online success is basically the journey that I went through that I did lots of these things these are things like you know setting up your blog or or set, or, or figuring out what your offer is who your audience is your vision all these things you probably know most of this already right but if you're like me you would have done it you probably done it in the wrong order I started by setting up my blog and setting up my tools and learning how to automate Twitter and learning how to generate leads I did all these things and I learned all these things but I didn't do it in the right order and this is what this is about this is about doing it in the right order so make sure you go get your copy it's free there's no cost there of course just like any other entrepreneur there are some upsells and all these things and I certainly certainly hope that you will get the upsells and the and the because that will expedite your ability to have success I'm just trying to trying to do something here I'm trying to move <laughs> but yeah so you can get your copy of this at that address online success 12 steps.com 12 the number 12 and steps with an s.com and http colon slash slash online 12 steps success.com so we'll see you on the inside thank you so much for being part of my hero's journey we'll see you in the next episode so the real this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time